Um, so I'm going to do a video that I should have done actually last month, apologies. So anyone who watches our digital Q&A with Emma and Fran um, will know that we did a Google Plus special and I was going to do a screen um, capture of um, an idea that I have about using communities for um, project work. So I'm going to do a little screen capture now and that's going to be my day one video. So enjoy. Okay, so this is my um, Google Plus community that I use for one of my um, training groups at the college. Um, we use this to share questions, to have discussions. You can also use it to have group hangouts, to do kind of remote teaching or anything like that. So this is a private group, as you can see here. It's got 14 members. So it's a really small grad group and you can just click here to invite even more members. Um, down the side here is kind of where we've kind of separated out the discussions. So I've got discussion, presentation questions, useful resources, exercises and events. And you would just explain here what you're about. Um, so what I suggested in our last Q&A is that you can also use a Google Plus community for um, kind of like an intranet um, or for project work. So in this instance, and this is just our main feed, you can see that I've got videos from the presentations that the students did, what I've shared, which I've shared with them and they can look at. And um, those are uploaded onto YouTube privately so that only they can see them. Um, and I've also just put up any kind of, so here's the list of when they were um, presenting, some of their practice videos, me on my way when I was late for college one day. Um, some figures for their presentations and different things like that. I've also put up things like links to useful resources that I think they will enjoy and videos and things like that. What it's great for is that instead of having to send group emails, I can pop something up on there and um, the students can go on and answer my questions or they can post a question. Something that's happened in my Facebook group, which just works in a similar way with some other students, is that one of the students posted a question. I only work part time, so if they'd emailed me, I wouldn't have seen that question. And by the time I got onto the Facebook group, one of the other students had popped in with an answer and so that we could get into a discussion about it so it means instead of having like a private email where you're just emailing your tutor or trainer directly um, and having to wait for them to respond you can post a question and other students can also see it so if they've asked that question in the past or um, they've also thought about that they can pop in and go yeah I want to know about this too so that you know there's a whole conversation going on and it just makes things a little bit more collaborative um, but one of the ways that we suggested um, when we were talking about it on our Q&A was that you could use this also for a company as an intranet so that instead of just um, having a little group project if you had your whole company as part of a Google Plus community which was private you could um, have down the side here where I've got discussion presentation questions useful resources you could have things like company discounts page um, canteen menu, HR policies, you know, different sections for things and for different departments. And all you would need to do when you want to share to that is if you click on share with this community and click on the drop down menu, you'll see that these drop downs here match up the topics on the side. So that if you wanted to put something like a new HR policy, you would click on the drop down that says new HR policy. You would attach that policy, you could type a little bit about it or you could share a video and then just um, share with the group. You can also add events here as well. So you can put in a calendar, um, put in a little theme, put a venue and all this kind of thing. So if it's if it's part of your team project, then you can you can use it for that. So so the, the kind of possibilities are endless. You can use it for intranet for your company. You could use it for a project team. Um, you can use it for, for example, myself and three other um, girls run our own girl guide unit. So we have things where we'll have planning meetings and things, but we can't always meet up. So we can use this same function um, to collaborate and share things. And the great thing you can also do is that if you use Google Docs so um, you can share and collaborate on Word document, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoints um, and you can use that as a 
combination with this is your intranet so that if you are in a position where you're working in any kind of team whether that's your whole company or me when I'm teaching a group of students or you're just collaborating with other colleagues you can create documents to share you can create this little workspace to share in the form of a community and it works really well so any questions um, pop down below the video and we can do some more screencasts for you so that's a little bit more detail about how you might use a community for project work. If you've got any questions about that or if you want to find out more, um, please either send a question through our Team Red Digital Tumblr, the link is below, um, or leave a message in the comments. Thanks, see you tomorrow.